Companies spend three times more on SaaS and have nearly double the apps than they think they do. Data shows that companies routinely underestimate their SaaS spend and applications. Today, the average organization has 269 apps and spends $45 million on SaaS every year. This sprawl is a result of decentralized purchasing, where 83% of applications are purchased by lines of business and individual employees. This all comes down to the fact that you can't manage what you can't see. License waste, missed renewals, overspending, redundant software, and security compliance risks result from a lack of visibility. That's why SaaS inventory management is so important, but what is it and how do you do it? SaaS inventory management is the process of building and maintaining a comprehensive, categorized, and continuous source of truth and reporting for SaaS. It is a starting point and foundation of an enterprise SaaS management program. You need to have a reliable, up-to-date, continuous inventory wherever you start, no matter your goals. Visibility into all of your apps and data unlocks your ability to gain awareness of security risks, establish clear ownership of applications across the business, make informed rationalization decisions, better manage software spend, streamline IT support, and improve the overall employee experience. So what steps do you need to take to do this? It starts by discovering and gaining visibility into the SaaS applications in your inventory, both the known as well as the unknown applications or shadow IT. There are multiple ways to get to this data, but by far the most accurate and reliable method is financial discovery, which is especially helpful at uncovering all those apps that you don't know about. SaaS management platforms make this easy through automation. For instance, Xylo uses an AI-powered discovery method that connects to your financial data sources and continuously monitors for new applications. Once you get to this visibility, it'll feel like a fire hose of information coming right at you. You're gonna find a lot of apps and there's gonna be a lot of data and it can feel pretty overwhelming. That's where strategic portfolio management can help you prioritize and phase out inventory management. Our team of experts here at Xylo recommend organizing your applications into three tiers in order to do this. Tier one applications. These are the IT managed applications inside the company that are typically core to the business and deployed enterprise wide. Think tools like Google Workspace, Zoom, or Slack are those with massive spend involved. For instance, if IT owns 50 apps, then just focus on those 50 apps as your starting point. Here's one consideration for you as you determine your tier one applications. Identify which apps are most critical to manage usage for, as well as which apps are you constantly being asked to get more licenses for, or which apps have a cost that are ballooning out of control. Since you're in IT, you own these apps already, so you don't have to go out and convince the business owners to be mapped into your SaaS management strategy. You prove it out with tier one, then make it easier to go out to the business with tiers two and three. So what are tier two apps? Tier two applications are those that are critical to business processes, but not centrally owned by IT. These may be used by multiple departments or cost centers and integrate with your tier one applications. So consider things like your marketing automation tools, which are integrated into your CRM or analytics tools that are sitting on top of your data. And then finally, tier three applications. Tier three apps are those chosen by individual departments for their specific needs or their niche use cases and do not directly integrate with your core systems. Examples here would be like project management tools, uh, maybe your email marketing tool or, or productivity tools. Once you've assigned a tier to each app, it's time to onboard those applications, starting with your tier one apps. As we covered in a previous episode, onboarding is the process of building your SaaS system of record. It helps you answer these questions. Who is the owner? Where's the contract? And what's our utilization of that application look like? So at this step, you're loading in contracts, you're setting up integrations and connections to applications to bring in usage and licensing data. You're identifying and assigning app owners and you're getting key metadata on each app that's important to your business. The biggest gap here is understanding what you need to track and who owns each of those different elements. This is especially important for your high value applications and those with high emphasis on risk and governance. 
Once your tier one apps are onboarded, you'll want to set up alerts to proactively manage your inventory. You'll want to do that for any new purchases so that, so that you know when new apps enter your environment so you can get them onboarded. Think of this as your safety net for any new applications. You also want to set up alerting around your key milestones so you can manage renewals proactively. At Zylo, we recommend 120, 90, and 60 day alerts for procurement teams and app owners for upcoming renewals. Make sure that this process of onboarding is ongoing. Think about the full life cycle of your apps and subscriptions and change your process to include a step to onboard. Okay, so you've discovered all your applications, you've organized them into three tiers, and you've centralized key data via app onboarding. What comes next? Now is a good time to put quick wins up on the board. Quick wins often come in the form of low hanging fruit. Often companies focus on financial wins. However, you may want to focus on things like purchasing and efficiencies, cleaning up shadow IT, or your security posture, depending on your overall company's goals. Each of these wins helps prove out your SaaS management program by highlighting where you can improve upon inefficiencies and how they impact your organizational directives. This enables you to operationalize the process going forward and mature your program. All right, that is all the time we have for today. Stay tuned for our next episode where I explain SaaS license management.